Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review American Cats, the good, the bad, and the cuddly. And this is a new documentary from director Todd Bieber, and focuses on the exploits of Canadian comedian Amy Hogart, who's going through and looking at the the controversy around declawing cats, and how all throughout Canada this is a banned practice, except for in Ontario, and really exposing this very, like, big billion-dollar money-making industry that puts so many cats through a lot of pain and suffering. And you can tell this film is taking a fun approach to this from the opening credits with its fun music and also... You know, when it starts going through all the producers' names and it calls them the producers, P-U-R-R, -R, you're like, I have a feeling this is going to be a fun ride, and Hogart is very funny, and really livens up this topic, gives this film energy, and adds layers to how this story is being told, because you can have the fun with it, but this film doesn't shy away from showing the seriousness of, you know, these poor cats who are in so much pain because you're literally just, like, snipping off the top of each of their f their fingers, their each of their digits on their paws, and at one point really describing it as, like, these are amputations. They're, like, going through, like, an 18 amputations by getting declawed, and I've had cats who were declawed, and... Now, in hindsight, like, I was a kid then, it's, like, it's really mean. Like, do I love being, like, turned into a pincushion by my cats, all three of them? No. But the immense amount of pain that this process goes through, and it focuses on this one particular vet who works with a lot of movies and stuff like that, who's a big driving force of stopping declawing from being... An acceptable thing and you see the controversy with other vets who are coming in and really endorsing this and the money that they get from it and the backings that they get and the lobbying you see the political layers to this and why such a butchering experience for these cats is still incorporated because of all the money-making machine that is pushing this forward this film has an interesting scope to the political aspects, the societal aspects, the greed behind it, and the lack of regard for the cats in the situation and wanting to make sure, like, hey, they should deal with this because look at what we can do with it. And, you know, Furniture's expensive, so let's put these cats through pain, and you really get that perspective. Obviously, this film has a very specific message that it's trying to go for, and it sells it with humor and facts and, you know, some har harrowing elements of looking at, like, x-ray of these poor cats and all the pain and suffering that they're going through, and those who are trying to be in their corner and trying to support them. Overall, you learn a lot from this. It's an eye-opening experience, and it also has some good laughs along the way, thanks to Amy Hogart. But those are my thoughts on American Cats, the good, the bad, and the cuddly. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.